Hello friends, our new topic of building material is timber. First is classification of timber. It can be classified in two parts. First is exogenous trees. Exogenous trees are those growth outward direction mein hoti hai. and endogenous trees are those that grow growth longitudinal direction or in height ki direction. Mein. Example of endogenous trees are bamboo, cane, palm trees and exogenous trees ko hum again two parts mein divide karte hai. first is conifer trees and second is deciduous trees conifer trees are those trees jinki leaves sharp hoti hai and ye hilly areas mein hote hain example of conifer trees are cheer pine and deciduous trees are those trees jinki broad leaves hoti hai and ye plains mein hote hain example of deciduous trees are babul sal teak and engineering purpose se deciduous trees are important second is structure of trees first point is pith innermost portion of trees is called pith and uh, it is surrounded by rings jinhe hum annular rings bolte hain and jaise tree ki growth badhti hai waise number of rings badhte jaate hain so annular rings trees ki age ko bhi batate hain okay second is hardwood ring surrounding the pith is called hardwood and ye dark color ki hoti hai it provides strength and rigidity and pith and hardwood hote hain jo wo tree ki development and growth mein koi active participate nahi karte hain third point is sape wood annular rings after hardwood are called sape wood ye light color ki hoti hai and ye tree ki growth ke liye responsible hoti hai but sape wood tree ko strength provide nahi karti hai sabse outer mein jo annular ring hoti hai usse bark bolte hain it has two layers first is outer bark and second is inner bark okay fifth point is cambium layer a thin layer between sape wood and inner bark is called cambium layer and there are some radial lines from pith to cambium layer are called medullary rays pith se jo cambium layer tak ke liye radial lines hote hain unhe medullary rays bolte hain now some important point related to timber timber ki specific gravity 1.54 hoti hai and hum timber ka weight measure karte hain when it contain 12% of moisture content and third is timber is non homogeneous and anisotropic it means timber ki different direction mein different properties hoti hain and uh, first and very important property of timber is shrinkage jab hum timber ko dry karte hain to water evaporate hota hai and timber shrink hoti hai circumferential direction mein sabse zyada shrinkage hoti hai and uske baad radial direction mein and sabse kam shrinkage longitudinal direction mein hoti hai second property is strength compressive strength and tensile strength is maximum in longitudinal direction and tensile strength is 2 to 4 times of compressive strength next is processing of timber we carried out some process to make timber useful for engineering purpose first is felling of trees or cutting of trees हम ट्रीज को उनकी मैच्योर एज में कट करते हैं इफ ट्री इज ओवर मैच्योर देन वो डिके हो जाती है इनकी एंड इफ ट्री इज अंडर मैच्योर देन इसमें सेप वुड ज्यादा होता है यानी मॉइस्चर ज्यादा होता है तो हिली एरियाज में हम ट्रीज को समर में कट करते हैं क्योंकि विंटर्स में यहां पे रेनफॉल होता है एंड प्लेन्स में हम विंटर्स में कट करते हैं सेकंड इज सीजनिंग ऑफ टिम्बर और ड्राइंग ऑफ टिम्बर इसका कोड होता है आई एस and newly cut trees में 50% moisture content होता है trees में water दो जग के present होता है in cell cavities and in cell walls जब हम timber को dry करते हैं तो cell cavity का water होता है जो सबसे पहले evaporate होता है जब entire cell cavity water remove हो जाता है it is called fiber saturation point next is defects of timber First is natural defects and second is defects due to fungi. In natural defects, first is drugsiness. Isme white spots aa jate wood pe which are concealed by healthy wood. Second is knots. Jab koi branch separate ho jati hai tree se to tree ki hard wood expose ho jati hai atmosphere mein and it becomes black. Fir timber ko yahan se cut karna difficult hota hai. And third is twisted fiber. When tree is young, to window se rotate kar deti hai to uske fibers twist ho jate hain. Then iski strength increase ho jati hai to hum is wood ko as a pole and railway slippers ke roop mein use kar lete hain. Fourth is shakes. Development of cracks on timber is called shakes. These are different type. First is cup shakes, second ring shakes, star shakes, hurt shakes. Next is defects due to fungi. 
फर्स्ट इज सेप स्टेन और ब्लू स्टेन इसमें टिम्बर के सेप फूड पे ब्लू स्पॉट्स आ जाते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड सेप स्टेन और ब्लू स्टेन सेकेंड इज ब्राउन रॉट जब फंगई ट्री के सेलुलोज पे अटैक करती है तो ब्राउन स्पॉट्स आ जाते हैं एंड टिम्बर डिके होने लगती है दैट इज कॉल्ड ब्राउन रॉट नेक्स्ट इज वाइट रॉट इसमें फंगी टिश टिम्बर के लिग्निन और टिश्यूज पे अटैक करती है वाइट स्पॉट्स आ जाते हैं और वो डिक्के होने लगती है दैट इज कॉल्ड वाइट रॉट नेक्स्ट इज ड्राई रॉट इट अकर्स इन द अबसेंस ऑफ सनलाइट एंड डैम्पनेस एंड फंगई कन्वर्ट फूड इन टू ड्राई पाउडर दैट इज कॉल्ड ड्राई रॉट नेक्स्ट इज वेट रॉट इट अकर्स वेन अल्टरनेट वीटिंग एंड ड्राइंग एंड फंगई डिकम्पोज द ट्री नेक्स्ट इज हार्ट रॉट जब ब्रांच ट्री से सेपरेट हो जाती है तो उसकी हार्ट वुड एक्सपोज हो जाती है एंड फंगई हार्ट वुड पे अटैक कर देती है दैट इज कॉल्ड हार्ट रॉट If you have any doubts related to timber please discuss with us we are always there for you thank you